let us go forth. Nice. Before I let the door swing shut, double check I have the key. Uh, I'm expecting a visit from um, the uh, the guy who knows about Eberspatches. He's going to take it and give it a service and see if that gets it into shape. So we'll see and take it from there. But today, well, it, I don't know what time he'll come. Um, It'll be a long later, but in the meantime, this is a large rucksack trip. Not the giant rucksack. There's a giant rucksack for laundry, which seems to have like just this vast capacity to it, which looks utterly ridiculous on, sadly, but I can carry a big load of clothes. Um, so this is the second rucksack. This is the large rucksack, more for traveling. It's a bit trendy, a bit nicer. Uh, bit smarter looking oops a daisy too busy looking at the bridge up there uh yeah it's just a, a better classier rucksack for general traveling and um and also for picking things up which is what it's for today so i've got to get across that road and it's just mad but it just looks crazy busy but we'll see what we can do uh so I'm going to go up this little slope and see what we've got at the top here. Uh, low gear. Again, you see this bumpy little track. Wouldn't be too much fun on a bro. It's not that much fun on this thing, to be fair. Uh, but from where I'm moored here, this is like my only route into Litchfield. And I'll give you a quick look as well. Um, that down there is Street A Wharf. Uh, Harry's boat's moored down there somewhere um, so uh, he popped over the other day had a couple of quick beers with me um, right that great okay so across the road I can see a path a footpath I think whatever suitable for cycling though so there's a route there's a route that will be safe but I'm gonna have to dismount. I can't. Uh, well, I could ride down, but you know. Now then, what's interesting is there might be a little sneaky way here to get to the boatyard if I was going to visit Harry. But it's a bit of a way. Now it doesn't look like it. I think this is the only way. So what you're seeing here is the A38. And it's constantly busy. And I don't know if I'm even going to be able to do this. Because I need a fair old gap to get through here. I might be here for a while. So I could have dived across there. What you do with these things is you sort of... Hang on. I've changed gear. Yeah, what you do with these things, you keep having a look, suss it out, and after a few minutes... Yeah, now this looks like a gap I can use just after this last white van. Here we go. Brilliant. So it's bad, but it's doable. Now we've got to negotiate this side. It's effectively like a motorway, this. This is effectively like a motorway. I used it many times. And I need to get the navigation on as well. So you've just got to be patient. And then quick. Got to be very patient for me, anyway. This is going to be the more difficult one. I, uh, I wonder 
if after the white van can I get across here yep there we go I think you've got to be a little bit daring to make this work so yeah it's a bit more adventurous than I'd like to be quite honest but uh, now I'm going to um, fire up the navigation okay there we go I'm using ride with GPS and I know what will happen anyway I'm gonna I'm not used to this one I've only used it once or twice so it's okay uh, but it's quite a fiddly route this I've got to go over a railway station it's all over the bloody place and I want this to be pointing that's it the direction of travel rather than north right and uh, all of this is to pick up I've got a duck here ah. whoa all of this is to pick up a bloody brush because I, I lost my brush that I used to sweep the chimney got a horrible feeling I threw it it fell into the cut at Westport Lake near Stoke when I was doing the solar panels I think I knocked it in I only noticed its absence a while later anyway uh, so I've got to get a new brush because you've got to brush your chimney generally once a month is advised you know every two months max really uh, you know and I learned the hard way really not the ultimate hard way but I had the CO alarm going off at 3am because the chimney was getting blocked with soot so it definitely is a thing now it's summer right cyclist dismount and use footway okay is this is this where it's saying for me to get off uh, this doesn't look right does it this, this doesn't but it's got to be hasn't it this is all temporary Google Maps actually Google Maps probably would know about this but what doesn't know about it is the app I'm using but it's definitely blocked isn't it there's no way I can get through to carry on that route is there I mean I don't know whether to give it a go yeah look this land is in possession of HS2 no access no access that way but I don't want to go that way I want to go adjacent to the road I'm going to give it one little go here I knew this would be a pain in the arse I knew it would be a nuisance the problem I've got is I don't know whether to is this worth the hassle or not See, my map has got me carrying on along the road for quite a way yet so I think that's what I'm gonna try and do this looks like a turning too early for me and I don't even know if it's blocked further on it doesn't look great and I might have to think this because I don't think this is the official path but let's see I can cycle it so I'm going to carry on with it for a bit yeah I think I'm seeing a path over on me right over there that's where I should have been unfortunately you know the map just didn't 
wasn't up to date with the situation so now I'm going down the wrong side of the road but at least I've got bollards to protect me so on the way back I will use that route now I'm at a dead end I can't go any further I can't go any further because look there's literally there's about 50 yards but it is a dead end essentially I wonder could I if I just all I've got to do is get to where uh, I won't cycle I've just got to get to where uh, rather than go back I could stay on the pavement so I'm not representing a hazard ah look here's where the psychopath comes out that's it would have been a bit of a diversion but it would have been a, a damn sight safer than this little thing I'm now doing but uh, let's see there's the path well I'm just a few yards away now so I think we can call it call this one a, a job done so now where the hell am I going now do you know what I'm gonna have to oh, sod this I'm gonna have to a work out where the hell I am because it looks to me like I need to be over there somewhere but I'm gonna go on foot I'm going to go on foot because uh, uh, it looks like a complicated junction so I'm going to have to redo this it's sort of lost where I'm at let's have a look I'm not going down Thompson Way I'm sort of in the right spot let's have a look So it seems to me I don't know where the hell I am. Right. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open cyclers. And I'm gonna And I'm going to see what cyclists can do for me. The trouble I've got here, I just don't really know where I'm at. Right. Well, I mean, I sort of do. Oh, look, how am I supposed to do that? And where even is that? The trouble is, when you're not moving on a map, you don't know what direction it really wants you to go. Now, I do know that I came this way so I presume it's would want me to continue going up that way I think it does yeah that's effectively and now what's interesting is this isn't uh, this isn't letting me change the map direction okay well I'm going to give it a go with cyclers I thought this might take a little while this isn't something I'd ever want to do after dark, you know. It's one of those sort of fiddly routes. Even when I get back here, I'm not going to remember half of this. So the trip back's going to be lively as well. <coughs> the trip back's going to be a bugger. But, it looks like I've got a path so and this looks like the so I'm, before I leave I'm gonna sort of make a mental note there's where the cycleway starts just over there so once I get down here and I see this construction and the black bridge then I go towards the left right so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna uh, follow the path this definitely looks like the right way
I've got to get back on the road. It seems, because of the maintenance, there's no traffic headed this way on this road. So, <clears throat> I might as well get on to the, the main carriageway. Right, so we've got... Is this a turn? We've got a turn coming up. My, the one beef I had with cyclers, it didn't show me the scale the way I wanted it. The scale is suitable for cars which travel faster. So it kept on giving me the impression that a turn was closer than it really was. And I can't change the scale, can I? See, can I zoom? Let's see, I don't know. I tried to change the scale, but I think it's sort of lost it. Let's try again. I think, yeah, whenever you do anything to the map screen, it just hangs there and you, you press recenter to get it, but then it loses your scale change as well. So how the hell am I going to remember this? Well, do you know what? I may be here for a week or even two. So I, I will remember it actually, because I'll be cycling this a few times. Right, so I've got to get over the railway track. What the bloody hell's this? Can I even do this? Stop, look and listen. Okay, well, a cyclist dismounts, happy to oblige. And I am definitely looking and listening. Okay. No trains. Looks like the station's no longer in use. Right, and we're through here. So remember on my way back, I've got to come through here. It is what it is really on in some of these places some of these out of the way places on the edges of towns or a mile out or whatever you know you do have some strange little routes that you've just got to follow and uh, ultimately there's not a lot you can do uh, these are the most feasible ways as bad as they are they're the most feasible ways in so what i'm going to do I should really get on the road here. Cyclers are still uh, still on track. We're, we're doing okay. We're going over a railway line now. There. It's not a heavily used road, this, which is good. So I'll stick to the road on the way back. In fact, let's get on the road now. Probably save me some messing. So generally speaking, I'm going straight on, which is where that lorry's coming from. All right. So, Do you know, I might try and pick a more simple route, I think. Because I'm going to be doing this to get to shops and things. Oh, and screw fix. Right. Do you know what? I do need something. There is something I need. And I might as well get it now.
Oh yeah. Could I have um, the JG Speed Fit 15 mil push fit thing, Speed Fit, the isolator valve? It's 15 millimeter one. I'm sorry to be so vague. I, I, uh, I was just passing on a whim. I thought I'll pick it up while I'm. It wasn't click and collect, but it's uh, it's a plastic fitting. That's the fella. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't, you know. Uh, can I just buy it? It's. Uh, I'm, I'm on a boat. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Have the connector. It's too boring to explain what it is. So obviously, as usual, I will explain what it is. Uh, when the Eberspatcher C central eating unit gets taken out, this thing will be able to seal it. So it's like an isolator valve. Uh, so I can remove it without the water leaking because obviously it drives the central heating water around the radiators and stuff. And um, sorry, I was watching where I was going and who was about to run me over, which was nobody to be fair. Um, but yeah. So anyway, yeah, to, to easily remove the Eberspatcher, I need uh, an isolator. Uh, it's not for this time, the guy's gonna seal it in some way, he said, but for future, I'll be able to isolate it neatly and with minimal effort. So, So that's great. Hopefully you can just fit that on. Actually, you might be able to just fit it on. Uh, I just don't know how these things work. I know they, that's how you just push them on and they fit and it, it all sounds dead easy. I'm gonna go on the pavement, I think. Seems to be more sensible, doesn't it? It's very generous pavement. So, I think we're pretty close. I'm looking for the co-op. Ah, here's the shops. Here's the shops coming up, and then on the other side of the road, I think, is this it? So, it doesn't look like it. There's supposed to be a co-op here. So let's get across. Thankfully, it's not a busy road, but this is the shops. It's got to be. I won't be using this one, because it's going to be further away. There's another co-op closer. But, here it is. But this is where the eBay click and collect was. I thought I'd have moved the boat further on by now, you see. So this is one that's a little bit further away. But anyway, you've got these little shops. It's a little arcade. It looks quite well to do, doesn't it? It looks okay. Question is, where do I lock the bike? Uh, to go in there. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, there we go, some bike racks. These are chin shop as well. Closed. There we go. So. Fair play to cyclists, right? because it was cyclists that got that route sorted for me and the map was easy to follow. Ah, the scale, I'm still not happy with it though. The thing is, it's all very well today. It's bright and it's warm-ish, but there's all too many days where you're doing this in the rain and the cold and the wind and the dark. And it needs to be spot on. But uh, as an aside, as an aside, what's this caution? Oh, pizza. Pizza on demand. Oh no, no way. 
no way. So they must have pizza stored in there, in that machine. Yeah, they'll have pizza stored in there, chilled. It's all sold out anyway. And you'll order one and it'll cook it and present it. Fantastic. And uh, you've got an in-post locker. These are handy, collect and return. These things are diabolical. I'll never use these again. I washed my clothes in one of them by Chester. And they came out smelling so bad that even I could smell it. And I can't smell anything half the time. Right, here's the co-op. Let's go and get me chimney brush. It's very pleasant. be using the stove for ages but uh, it's always about to have it ready olive bloomer brilliant why just eat bread when you can have an olive bloomer long term long term reserve short term i.e. minutes lifespan for that and then just assorted food stuff sausages are brilliant it sounds daft but you can do different things with them bacon bacon in the air fryer oh my god I'm like born again always a good standby of course always need coffee and two locally produced, locally produced meals, which you just know will be a cut above. So it's a bit of a wait, but it's not too bad. It's not ridiculous. A mixture of reserve items for long-term storage and, you know, couple of little snacks for later. Right, let's put this back. Right, and I don't think I'm going to need the coat. It doesn't show, obviously, on the video. There's a bit of a wind, but this is not too bad goes in there on top and let's tighten that down there we go some modest rucksack modestly heavy not too bad So there's a couple of kids getting their bikes, so I'm going to leave it for now. So now I've got to navigate back. I'm going to give Ride with GPS another go. Let's 
tell it where to start and tell it where to finish. Finish and navigate. Let's do it. So, where did I come in? I can't remember my approach route. I feel like it was this way. 